Tourism is a multi-billion dollar business in Montana. Even though the number of coronavirus cases in the state pales in comparison to more populated places, Chris Stewart found this crisis could have a direct hit on those who rely on people to come explore. There's something unique about places like this. The uncertainty of what you could find. Well, come on over. Come on, Jenny. That has always driven Joseph Haas's guide and outfitting business. But this year has brought a kind of uncertainty unique to anything he's faced before. By February, um, it just cratered to almost zero in terms of requests for even any information at all. What's going through your mind when you see that kind of dip? It was, it was scary. It was scary. This time of year, people travel from all over to have Haas lead them on multi-day horseback tours through the Montana wilderness, usually. The mix has changed dramatically, so we have very few customers from the east or west coast. Um, California, particularly, um, we just we've seen almost nothing from California. Bulk of our traffic comes from in the summertime, as people going from park to park, because we are on the shortest route, most direct route between Yellowstone and Glacier National Parks. A few miles down the road is the stage stop in in Shoto. Population, 1,713. We've probably had at least 95% of our events that we had booked canceled. Experts think hotel occupancy levels won't recover until 2022 nationwide. Owner Barb Bama doesn't know if her hotel will make it that far. It's not sustaining itself. You know, how long we can go? Yeah, I'm not sure. Right now, I have one person. Um, normally, I would have two or three in the summer. Joseph says reservations have started to pick up again. And as he starts to lead people back into the wild, he hopes the struggles he's faced this year stay unique to 2020. There's so much more known about you know the coronavirus now that if they can travel, um, I think there's a, the, the, the known will outweigh the risks for a lot of those people.